All right, today I'm working on a 2003 International 4300. This truck was actually towed in from another shop. It has a DT-466. This is how I received the truck. All gutted out already. Carpet's torn, doghouse is broken, ECM is missing bolts, just to name a few things. The other shop also did provide an ECM and suggested that we program and install it to fix the problem that this truck is having. This truck is a crank no start, but we're not going to let another shop diagnose it for us, especially if this is how they disassemble the truck. So let's see what it's doing. So we can see there, it just turned right on and turned back off. Same thing, and no fault codes. There's no active fault codes, no previously active fault codes, nothing. Now I will tell you right now, I've already checked the fuel pressure. Fuel pressure is good, injectors are buzzing, compression sounds okay, there's no intake or exhaust restriction. It seems like it has everything it needs to start. So why isn't it starting? The cam sensor is faulty. As you can see, they've already replaced it, but the problem is they replaced it with an aftermarket one. They didn't go OE, and that was the issue. I just happened to have a test sensor that I installed, and it fired right up. And it's common on these 466 engines, as well as on the 444Es, or the 7.3 engines, where the cam sensor goes bad and the engine does not log a fault code. This engine ECM is just not smart enough to catch it. So keep that in mind next time you're working on one of these engines. It's good to keep a test sensor in your toolbox, that way you could just swap it out real quick and test it. Got the old one out, got the new one in, now let's go retest. Alright. Wish I could say it was good to go, but this engine has bigger problems. Let me show you. Yeah, that ain't no good. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed these videos, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.